Welcome to Hydroneer. I'm Hexenhammer and today we're going to do a little look at pipe pressures and conveyor belts. So I have three setups. One is a claudium setup, one is iron, and the third one is iron as well. The difference between the setups is claudium has a max pressure of roughly 368, iron has a max pressure of 177. So each pipe under the conveyor belt will have maximum pressure on the first two lines and then this third line will have decreasing pressure per segment. So this rig here, when I throw the switch, will start all three belts up and then they will cycle through and count until they reach one minute and we'll see how many cycles or how many times they count. Setting this system up was pretty easy. Um, the trick was to put a logic flip here and it equals here. So the signal goes through and then once it cycles through a minute, these two signals match and then this switch will automatically, this valve will automatically turn off. So as we can see already, the claudium line is already up to nine rotations. And then the iron is already up to five. Now I have a fourth test line and the fourth test line is going to review how much pressure, how many segments you can go through before you run out of pressure. And there's the uh, line turning itself off. So this line went through 15 rotations, claudium line 15 rotations, the iron did seven, and then the comparative with dropping pressure only went through six. So you, you, you do lose speed as you get further away from your pressure tank. And a way to show that is if we come over here, this pressure line runs all the way down from max pressure, steps down all the way to zero, and then down further, there's a little test to see if we can create a pressure feedback loop without, um, the short answer is no, we can't because they patched out the infinite water bug. So we'll turn this on and it starts running and each segment of this belt will get slower and slower until eventually we reach the end where we run out of pressure on the line itself which actually takes a while um, for iron every segment is dropping three points of pressure so 18, 15, 16, 9, 6, 3, 0. So the, what we're really reading is the pressure in front of the pipe. So this gauge shows 12, but the actual pressure on this conveyor belt is 9. So pressure on this pipe is 9. This is 6. This is 3. This is 6. So this is nine, this is six, this is six, going into three, three is zero, as we'll see when we reach this line, which is going to take a little bit. But then what we have here is we have a zero pressure line, a zero pressure line, zero, zero, zero. And what I did over here is I just made a little feedback with a, with a stone in it. And as we can see, from this line, this belt has no pressure because the logic is running down this side of the line. Now, this feed comes out and in, and that's why this is getting pressure. So there's basically zero pressure and full pressure at that side, so it's blocking and it won't travel down. What we could do though, is we could remove that. Realize we deleted something we didn't need to. Replicate and 
stick these on and let's see what it does. Let's get rid of that cork. So as we can see here, this pressurizes this single line, but it doesn't go down and pressurize this belt. So that's just part of how the system is working and we're still waiting on our bar down here, which it'll eventually get down here. So this hopefully answers some questions you have about pressure and lines and what you can and cannot do. Uh, Cloudium lines will obviously run further without repressurizing. Um, one thing about pressure in my opinion in this game is yes it's good to have good pressure in your conveyor belt lines um, but it's not as as important as maintaining a high pressure in your drills um, because eventually your your resource will get to your to your drills uh, from your smelters and whatnot oh now this this is running so it will feed, continue to feed down, but it still shows zero pressure. Oh, and we're creeping down. We're reaching uh, six here. Three. Yeah, so this three pressures, we can see how slow it is. Painfully slow. Well, that's all I got, and hopefully this will help. Um, when in doubt, slap a pressure gauge down and see how fast stuff moves. And if it's moving too slow, put a, another pressure gauge, pressure tank in, and speed things back up. That's all I've got. Thank you.